Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Dr. Gabriela Castaneda, and I am the Assistant Director for Career Services in the Azure School of Business and Economics. And I'm Sally Rubin. I'm an Associate Professor of Documentary Filmmaking and the Program Coordinator for the Broadcast Journalism and Documentary Film Programs at Dodge College. So we're talking today about how to celebrate uh, Women's History Month in a way that acknowledges intersectionality. Um, you know, to me, celebrating any identity um, in any month, Women's History Month being no different, um, cannot be separated from the need to acknowledge and talk about intersectionality. Um, I think we really kind of do a disservice when we don't um, address that almost all of us have multiple identities that are part of who we are. Um, as an out queer professor, um, I'm equally proud of being both a woman. Sometimes I consider myself non-binary depending on the context, depending on my mood. Um, but yeah, my identities as a woman and also someone who's queer are completely um, unable to be divided. So yeah, I think that one of the very best ways that we can celebrate Women's History Month is to um, be mindful of the fact that we all bring multiple identities to the table and to our lives and absolutely see those as, um, as positives and as additive to our life experiences. Um, you know, there's no one way to be a woman. It, it looks really different depending on people's backgrounds and their identities. So I think the way we best celebrate that is to appreciate and acknowledge that um, and to ask people about themselves, to work hard to understand people's experiences um, and to realize that you know, this giant uh, kind of pot that we're all in together as Americans um, is just made all the more wonderful because of the diversity of our experiences. So I'm proud to be a woman today um, in Women's History Month. I'm so proud to be here. I'm, I'm proud to be um, an LGBTQ woman here in Chapman's community. Thank you, Sally. And for me personally, how to celebrate Women's History Month right in a way that we can um, recognize the many identities that we have. Um, I have many of them. One, being a Latina, being an immigrant. Uh, those are, you know, being a mother, uh, strong in my faith, being Catholic. There's so many different things that make up who I am. And I feel that, as you mentioned, Sally, it is, we're in this melting pot here, right? And there's no one way to be a woman. And that is for individuals to decide how they identify, how they feel. And, and depending on context, too, you mentioned earlier. And um, having, I think it's important to not just use this month of March to recognize uh, the contributions that women make to, to our society, but I think it should be a 24, you know, uh, uh, 12 months, uh, 365 days a year, uh, because we don't necessarily disappear after the month of March and, and <laughs> our contributions continue uh, mm -hmm. within our households and our communities. And, you know, we have impact. Uh, for me, it's very important to continue to celebrate women uh, throughout the year, especially the new generations, um, the, the younger generations that are coming to empower them to us and, and uh, sort of continue to pave the way so that the new generations hopefully have it a little bit easier um, with, with many women, like we have, right? Many, many women before us have done a tremendous job um, and, and, and and paving the way for us to have it a little bit easier. But um, if there's still a lot of work to be done. Uh, there's still a lot of work that we need to be involved in and participate. And whether you're a woman or a man or, or however you identified, I think this is a collective effort mm -hmm. to really celebrate us. I'm a mother of two young boys and they're part of this. And in my mind, they are part of not just celebrating me as their mom, but celebrating women and and, you know, whoever they encountered in the future for them to empower those individuals um, to continue to make um, 
positive impacts in our society. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important That's not right. only to leave that responsibility to women, but also to get our um, allies, right? Our, our mm -hmm. counterparts. Yeah. That's wonderful. And, um, you know, the only thing I would add hearing everything that you have to say, I remember a few years ago when I heard the new analogy that's preferable to melting pot, I think I said pot, but actually I've heard of it called the salad bowl, where you yeah. think of a salad and you've got tomatoes, celery, spinach, everything in one big bowl. And everybody in there keeps their own identities, but we all together combine make this really rich, delicious meal. So, um, yeah, I love that. And I love that you bring into it these other identities, being a mom. I'm, I'm a proud mom to a Buddhist, Jewish, an athlete, you know, thinking beyond just kind of those um, maybe racial or gender based identities and thinking about, um, yeah, really those intricacies of kind of what makes us who we are. That's really what intersectionality is, I feel. And I absolutely, I agree with the importance of including our allies in the celebration. Um, I think that's really key. It certainly is. And I think it's such a powerful, I mean, and, and maybe I'm a little biased because, uh, you know, uh, I am woman, but I think we hold so much power on, mm -hmm. on creating and um, fostering a better, better communities, right? Having great impact, like I said, whether it's in a household or in our campuses or in our local communities or in a broader area, such as now we have our very first vice president of the United States, the impact mm -hmm. that she's having in, in, other, in other generations and across the world, really. You know, it's, it's one of those epitome, right, of having such influence and, and power around the world. Um, and you see this different, wonderful woman behind me in my background that I thought it was appropriate to showcase this month, <laughs> the contributions that they had and the different mm -hmm. identities that they carried, right? Mm -hmm. And how they made uh, a, a better world for us, really. Absolutely. And I love that you talk about Vice President Kamala Harris. You know, my six-year-old daughter has been learning in school in first grade whole sections, whole pods about um, different inspiring women. And I love that this, the first woman in the White House is a woman of color, a woman with these um, multiple intersectional identities. And we get to celebrate all of that. And kids from a year, very young age are learning about intersectionality without the use of that fancy word. Right. Um, you know, that's part of their understanding of who we are as people. So yeah, it's, it's um, very inspiring. And I love your background there. I love all those amazing faces. Right, there's somebody right back here. Oh, okay, um, another one, <laughs> Jane. My daughter just did a pot on Jane in school. Yeah, no, I mean, the contributions that this woman had made and mm -hmm. you can only, I personally can only inspire to make just an itty bitsy contribution to, to my local community, mm -hmm. anything compared to what they've done and the, the, the role models that they are um, for, at least for me and for, again, I don't have daughters, but, you know, I do have nieces and sisters and I have a mother and uh, the impact and the, the influence that this woman have had on them and that they have on me, it's, it's incredible. And just to even have a little bit of that um, influence on other women that I could ever have. And, and I think we do in a way with our, with our um, students, right? We, we um, work closely with our students of different backgrounds, different identities. Mm -hmm. And I think acknowledging and empowering them to, to use their power um, it's, it's incredible. It's an incredible honor for me, um, to be honest. Yeah, me too. And I think you articulate that really well. Thank you so much for having me. It's so fun to talk about, um, you know, and just celebrate this really wonderful topic. It is. It's, it's been wonderful. Thank you for having uh, us. And again, I think we should be celebrating 365 days a, a year. So that's just my, mm -hmm. my opinion. Me too. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs>